so we are out here again doing a little night fishing I fished this morning got up about four went out in the kayak it was okay I mean I caught like one slot fish other than that it was kind of slow dot some raindrops and my buddy got into him last night over here so I decided to give a I decided to push myself a little bit and get back out here and see if I can hook up so you know so but thanks for coming back don't forget to like comment subscribe and share Oh, we just got him up. There's a big old sand trout. Look at that thing. Oh, I thought there was a speck. Man. Oh my gosh, that's a big sandy. Hey, you got it out for me. Cool. You did? Yeah. That thing's pounding ass. That's a speck. Oh, that's a nice one. Let me get the little net on this one. Come over here to the stairs. Don't walk on the stairs. Two of them. Oh, they both got off. Yeah, oh, you had two it broke, broke off. off. It broke off. Oh, man, it broke the off. The second one hit it. Oh. You had two of them on there. <laughs> the other one hit it when you oh. were here. I seen him hit it. Dang it. That was legit. It was my, it was my knot. That was legit. See, that's, that's what happens when you try to tie a knot without your glasses on and it's blowing 15 mile an hour and you're drifting trying to hurry up and tie a knot. I witnessed that man, that was a double bubble. That was awesome. That was that fun. Was sandy. Oh, is it? oh Sandy. Oh no, it's a speck. It Look at that. Like Look, it's it? it's a speckled trout. It's a speckled sand. Oh, they're breeding with each other. I don't get man, I was gonna show you better, bro. There we go! All the way down over here. I am. Just pull, just pull it all the way down. Like I am. You. That's how I get in line. I pull them all the way down. Just come on down. Just keep on pulling. Just pull it. Don't even go. Just pull it. Well, he swam toward That's me a little bit. Pull it all the way down. It's going to be like this. I keep pulling last night. Come all the way around. He's going to try to go underneath the dock right here. <sighs> there. Oh, there he goes. All the way I'm not trying to try, I'm not trying to muscle him because I don't trust this knot. It's not my best line. It's gonna be a 20, 22 inch. Come out. What is? Oh, he's the undersized. Shoot, he's 19 inches. Come on. He's barely hooked too, right out of the tip. Bring him around here, gentlemen. He's coming. Who? Oh! My net man! <laughs> my net man! Let's see. 19 on money. Pinch the tail. 19 on the money. No, pinch the tail. 19. On the money. One inch off. One inch off. Uh, hey, let me get your picture. Pretty guy. Can you, can you take it? There we go. That's a fish. Fish on. I get this fish over here.
Yeah. Yeah. Bigger. It's about 22 maybe. Yeah. Got him. He is 21. Just a little over 21 inches. There we go. Nice, beautiful guy right there. One spot on each side. All right, so that was on the rattle trap there. Just. You know, I'm not seeing anything in those green lights, and a lot of times you don't have to see anything in the green lights. You just kind of fish around them. I always like to fish cast not in the green light and swim it through. But that was on this silver pink one. Rattle trap has done pretty good. I'm about to retie my line feels all frayed up. There we go. Doesn't feel as big. Oh. oh, there it goes. That feels a little smaller. Oh, nope. I'm gonna bring him over here. Oh, come on. I don't want to let him run under the dock. I want to keep him out. smaller he's a juvenile about 16 18 Looks barely hooked there he goes small little guy but he's still he's still fun see that he's eating crustacean or whatever with a bunch of algae in it that's why that tails that color He's pretty. He's pretty. Let's see if we get him off. All right, everybody, so that's gonna do it. You know, yesterday I got up early in the morning and hit the water before sunrise. I wanted to get on that morning bite and I really wanted to target flounder. I've been seeing a lot of nice flounder being caught, so I was really looking to get maybe that 18, 20 inch flounder. And luckily for me, I was able to find one. Unfortunately for me, after that, that was a wrap. I saw a lot of big gar out there swimming around. And I'm not gonna lie, I did chase a few trying to get them to bite because I just think hooking up to a gar in a kayak will just be a really fun experience. I've hooked up to some small ones in the past, but never landed that big, that real big gar. And out there there was quite a few and they were pretty big but after that you know i headed to the house i headed home cleaned up my gear later on in the afternoon i talked to a friend of mine who had a lot of a lot of activity out there in his light so i mustered up the strength and headed back out because i wanted to hook up and good thing that i did went i did go back out because i was able to catch a few reds now what I was throwing out there on the tandem was I was throwing these two lures combined. Now this is a company they don't make these style lures anymore. I just happen to have some or come across that I had some more of these. I really do like this. This is a smaller shrimp profile style bait. You know you have to match the hatch, you really do. And out there lately there's been a lot of shrimp fresh hatch. And this other one, this is a chicken boy lure. It also glows in the dark so that helped into those lights last night. Now I did throw these, put these on tandem, tandem rigs. If you're not familiar with the tandem rig, there's plenty of videos out there. I might make one later on, but there's plenty of videos out there. I would suggest throwing some tandem rigs, especially around the lights. I've gotten a lot of good response from you guys telling me you know throw the tandem rigs throw the smaller stuff 
throw some little crappie jigs and i did i threw some little some little smaller stuff in the lights but it seemed like i was having the best reaction out of those shrimp when it was coming to the specs and trout and when it's coming to the specs and trout when it's coming to the specs and sand trout and i did catch one red on one on the tandem rig it was a little 19 inch but he was a football the other ones came on this rattle trap you know rattle trap is still getting it done out there for me you know these two right here are pretty much my favorite color and i get asked a lot of times hey where were you fishing this it doesn't matter every single every single person that i've talked to when they're fishing the lights right now doesn't matter what subdivision what area whether it's freeport or galveston everybody i talk to they're having a tremendous amount of success at nighttime so i mean even another causeway bridge if you're planning on doing some night fishing just look at google maps check out an area look to see where you can launch even put boots on the ground and go over there and check it out during the day just so you can kind of have your bearings but you know like i said look at google maps just go out there and just start fishing you know put in your kayak and start fishing fortunately for me i do have access to my friend's private dock so i can just walk out there and fish whenever i want one thing i do want to add is somebody asked me recently about this rod this is an h2o express rod this is a solid six inshore rod now these rods are basically made and designed to use with live bait but i've been throwing lures on this one in particular this is the it's a spinning reel a spinning rod right for spinning reel it's a seven foot medium action and solid six just means that this blank is completely and totally solid i mean i'm not worried at all about breaking this rod the other day i very unsuccessfully but successfully uh flipped a 25 inch red onto my buddy's docks and this rod didn't it didn't even didn't even skip never skipped the beat and it's this one this one is pretty lightweight i mean it doesn't bother me it's not a hassle i mean it's a little heavier than some of the other rods out there on the market but heavier in this case just means you have a stronger solid core blank so i don't i don't mind it being heavier because i know that if i get a big fish on i'm definitely gonna land it with this i'm not worried about it breaking or the the eyes are great i'm not worried about anything when it comes to this rod i really really enjoy that rod in particular and then again like i said it's it's designed and made for live bait so when when i when we are fishing and we're out there in the water and i am throwing live bait i i'm already ready to go i'm ready to go whether i'm gonna throw artificial or live i don't have to only thing i have to do is add a weight on here and put a hook on instead of a lure and i'm good to go so I really, really am digging these rods. Somebody else asked me about the TAC 40s, and I don't have anything bad to say about the TAC 40s. They're a great rod. They're a great price point. The sensitivity level in that rod is is great in its class. I'm not trying to compare it to a two, three hundred dollar, five hundred dollar custom rod. I'm comparing it to its class. The handle here. Let me grab it. You know, it has that that carbon fiber handle, and it's it's pretty slick. I don't have an issue with it at all i like the way it feels i know a few friends of mine have bought one too because they've seen how it handles fish they've cast mine they've used mine and they went and spent some money and bought themselves one it's a great price point both of these rods in case you are in the market and looking for them i would highly recommend them highly recommend them no bs i really like them you see me fish with them all the time and it's not because i don't have other rods trust me i have quite a few but i really do enjoy fishing with them but hey you know that's a wrap you know thank you guys for watching thanks for coming back all the time i really appreciate you if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe hit a thumbs up if you like the video push the bell notification that'll help you remember or that will remind you next time i upload a video you can be reminded and get on that video as soon as it drops. But thanks again. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Until next time, hopefully you catch me hooking up. Thanks.